In the process of having the abortion, the doctor seemed to be having some problem. The doctor knew that he did not have the results, but they sent me to my dormitory to die. An ultrasound revealed that he had hydrocephalus, or water on the brain. And we were sent to a physician in Philadelphia to deliver the baby. And when he saw the ultrasound of my son's brain, he suggested that we have a partial birth abortion. The mission of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation is to spread the truth about abortion, infanticide, and euthanasia and to restore legal protection for the unborn in Pennsylvania. Because women have suffered terribly from the after effects of abortion. They have had emotional distress, uh, physical distress and problems conceiving later. They have uh, psychological problems. So the Federation is absolutely in, very concerned about the life of the innocent unborn child, but we're also concerned about these women and the after effects of abortion on them and how harmful it is. Federation is the only one that can do this in Pennsylvania. Forty percent of the abortions in Pennsylvania are done on African Americans who only comprise about 11 percent of our population. It's a black genocide in our state. I was a junior in college, 22 years old. I had a boyfriend and I was pregnant. And I went to my boyfriend and I told him that I was pregnant and uh, he suggested an abortion. He said he didn't want to get married. He didn't want children at the time. I did not want to raise a child alone, so I sought out an abortion. They told me that it was much like pulling a tooth and that this problem would be taken care of. Never would I have thought that I would live with the regret and the pain of that abortion over 30 years ago, over 32 years ago. I've lived with many years of depression, guilt, and shame, because not only did I take the life of my child, Kelly, but I also destroyed any chances of ever having any children. Abortion is definitely taking a toll on the African-American community. I don't even think the African-American community even realizes what's going on. 14 million African-American babies have been aborted since 1973. And in the Philadelphia area, almost half of the African-American babies are aborted. And that's, when you think about that, it's devastating to hear it. The African-American community has been targeted by the abortion industry. There is so many abortion clinics within our community. If you tell our young people that it's okay to abort a child, especially an African-American child, what's gonna keep that teenager or that young man from shooting someone down on the street. They don't have any respect for life. The value for life is next to nothing. The Federation is trying to reverse that trend in the black community by doing outreach to get information out to the black community, to help them understand the black genocide that's taking place. And once they learn the truth, they're shocked and they will help to teach others about the truth. Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation partners with teenbreaks.com. <music> Teen
Magazine Breaks is a website that reaches out to Generation Y, that age group 14, 15 to about age 24. And this is important because Generation Y is the age range when most people make a decision on serious moral issues, such as abortion. So we believe it's very important for us to focus our attention and our resources very much into that age group. Because number one, this is the age where most young women do have abortions. And number two, we want to be sure they have all the information available to them before they make a, a decision on where they fall on the issue. Some of the biggest accomplishments of the Pennsylvania Pro-Life Federation has been the enactment of the Pennsylvania Abortion Control Act. This, along with establishing real alternatives, which provides government money for crisis pregnancy centers around the state, has actually cut the abortion rate in half in Pennsylvania. There is a real alternatives funded center within 45 minutes of every woman in Pennsylvania. There's about 121 of them that are funded and they uh, consist of pregnancy centers, social service agencies like Catholic Charities, uh, maternity homes, and adoption agencies. Real Alternatives is an organization that actually helps women in need with problem pregnancies. They're a pregnancy resource center, and we were instrumental in getting the funding for that organization. When most women come in, their baby is even smaller than this one. We see approximately 200 clients every month, and that would come out to be about 2,400 clients a year. We do between 30 and 40 ultrasounds a month. Um, we do uh, the pregnancy tests as well. Um, about half of the clients that come in are for pregnancy tests every month and then we provide baby clothes, maternity clothes, baby furniture, um, post-abortion counseling, uh, relationship counseling, and, um, and resources to, to other community agencies. I think that when people are um, considering abortion they don't realize how viable these lives are and what eventually they could become. Um, in my particular case, I have been very grateful to have my mother tell me that I've been her pride and joy. I was blessed to do well in school and graduate magna cum laude from Stanford University. Um, I run a successful communication translation company. In 1964, when my mother was pregnant with me, abortion was illegal in the country at the time, where we were from, Chicago. And my mother went in to see a doctor. Um, my parents agreed that this was an idea they wanted to follow through with. And they went to see a doctor who um, performed an illegal procedure of shooting um, Pitocin into my mother's womb, which is a hormone which is supposed to cause contractions and abortion. My mother uh, went to this doctor five to six times, as far as she recalls, and the final time uh, did experience severe cramping and bleeding, and I was almost a statistic at that point, but fortunately um, her pregnancy went through. And the actual long-term picture for my mother is that the child that she she did try to abort as the one who is grateful that I'll be able to take care of her now. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for what you do in the community because we couldn't touch everybody in this state without your help. Thank you for your donations that give us the funds to use the technology to reach people. And thank you for your prayers. They mean so much to us. Now think about what you do and think about what you could do. Think about it, pray about it, and then do it. Find a good place so we don't have to. Ow.